Your vehicle may be equipped with the convenience of our HomeLink system. HomeLink replaces up to three remote controls or handheld transmitters that operate devices such as garage door openers, motorized gates, lighting, or home security systems. The HomeLink control buttons are located in the headliner or sun visor. If you haven't programmed any of the HomeLink buttons yet, be sure to erase all channels before you begin. To do this, press and hold the two outside buttons for up to 20 seconds until the red indicator flashes. For more efficient training and accurate transmission of the radio frequency signal, it is recommended that a new battery be placed in the handheld transmitter of the device being programmed to HomeLink. The HomeLink unit is powered by your vehicle's battery and does not require battery replacement. When programming the HomeLink system, your vehicle should be parked outside of the garage. To begin programming, turn the ignition switch to the on-run position and hold the battery side of your handheld transmitter away from the HomeLink button you wish to program. Place the handheld transmitter 1 to 3 inches or 3 to 8 centimeters away from the HomeLink button while keeping the indicator light in view. Now, Simultaneously press and hold both the chosen home link button and the handheld transmitter button until the home link indicator changes from a slow to a rapidly blinking light, then release both the home link and the handheld transmitter buttons. When the indicator changes, it is programmed. It may take up to 30 seconds or longer in rare cases. The garage door may open and close during programming. To check your programming, Press and hold the just programmed home link button and observe the indicator light. If the indicator light stays on constantly, then programming is complete and the garage door or device should activate when the home link button is pressed. On vehicles equipped with a security alarm, home link will be disabled if the alarm is active. A quick note though, if the garage door was manufactured after 1995, it may have a rolling code. If so, please refer to the Programming a Rolling Code System section of the Owner's Information DVD. Please refer to the instruction manuals on the Owner's Information DVD or jeep.com owners for complete details and other important safety information.